Okay, we're gonna close this. And maybe a Fire Nado would be good for all of these guys. Okay, here we go. Is that gonna hit all of them? I think so. We might get lucky here, but let's... Oh, yes! Oh, my balls. Look at that. There was like three dead. Oh, nice. Hey, guys. We're back with more 7 Days to Die with the Sorcery mod. We're back here in our mini base. We are currently in the process of making Omni Extracts. We need them to make the Arcane Wheel, I believe it is called, so we can start making Sorcery Armor or looking into that. So this, uh, the, the, today, the task would be to try to get into making this Arcane Wheel and to see if we can make Sorcery Armor. Uh, aside from that, we're going to have to continue grinding to get essences, to get all the resources that we need to continue to get deeper into the tree now we have to get some points and level up because we have to start getting into the more depth of the fire spells we can see here it says victims with one or more fire stacks have a chance to incinerate which is amazing also apparently as you get deeper into the uh, fire sorcery you can do things like heal yourself um, which i don't even know how they work it that's based on the comments that you guys were telling me and as you expand as well you uh, unlock things like the right click functionality in the sorcery mod which is absolutely amazing let's have a look into this building this is right beside our house our house is over there so let's have a look into this and see if we can find anything interesting i'm not sure if the only type uh, uh, if the only way to get resources is by smacking trees and smacking boulders or if we can also um, find something interesting also update 0 0.85 i believe is out i don't know if we can see the version number here on any of the screens i don't think so but yeah there's 0 0.85 and 0 0.85 just let me actually talk to you about this quickly I hope this will work now. Um, so the Fallen, uh, the Awakening 0 0.85 now publicly live. Fallen, Fire Sorcery Priests now wander the burnt forest and wasteland caves, hordes and blood moons. Ice Sorcery Priests now also wander the same way. Fallen, you have new items. Fire and Ice Fallen Blood, uh, for, uh, Ritual Shards and Ritual Stones. Quests are now added for the Summon Fire Fallen, uh, the Summon the Ice Fallen and Summon the Fallen Trio. Um, feature, Fallen now speak in tongues boss combat ring don't leave it so there's a new item added i suppose touched arcane contagion whatever that means that's become touched i don't know what that exactly means yet now this is all it says on the actual 8.0.85 update page but i'm sure there's more to it than that so let's get back to the mod sorry about that i just wanted to go over it because you guys were telling me inside uh, in the comments you know that there's been changes made and i just wanted to make sure that i went over them even though they mean very little to me at this time so let's have a look here oh what do we have here we got some honey okay now we don't have a lot of bag space yet so we're trying to keep our perk points between sorcery and you know improving capacity for carrying things around as well as Harvesting. Oh, what do we have here? Do we have visitors? Do they come from the outside? Of course they are. There we go. Nice. I love it. Okay, nobody coming from the inside yet. Hey, you. Okay, he's done. Very nice. I like it. Let me pick up my essences again. <laughs> we also need iron, but I actually scrapped some of the iron, raw iron we found into iron. So we have definitely... An ay, 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 ay. I wonder if we can still use our melee weapon. Ah, we have to probably hit her. That that would probably help. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, we want to stick probably with fire and keep our distance. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, there's another friend coming in from over there. So we attracted the attention from some outsiders. So let's take care of them quickly. Nice. Let's continue. Okay, what do we have here? Nice ammunition. Now, this is basic vanilla plus just the sorcery modlet. Like, you can play it again. People were asking, you can play it with um, Ravenhurst, you can play it with War of the Walkers, and you can play it with Darkness Falls. So, you have a couple of options. And uh, the people so far in the comments that have verified that saying they're having a lot of fun with it in Darkness Falls so far. So, if you have played it already with War of the Walkers or Ravenhurst, let me know what your experience was because it's always interesting to see in the comments how you guys get on, and it's also helping others out as well. So, I don't think we have enough power actually. Can we destroy that with fire? Is that something we can do? Let me see. Now, does that damage this at all? No, <laughs> it doesn't care. Okay, but it stays on fire for a while. That, that's fair enough. Okay, let's go through this section here. 
Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, this is a lot of mines here. Okay, come on girl, where yet? Nice, oh I love this modelus. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can take care of her. Nice, she should be toast now. And she is well. Beautiful, I like it, I like it a lot. I love that random effect from the um, modlet. We found also another modlet, I think. Lock Shutter, invoke the Lock Shutter rune word to imbue a tool with safe lock breaking power. Only tools can sustain the power of this rune and will endure immense burden. Okay, damage safe locks with magical force on each swing. Oh, we have to try that out. Okay, so we have a safe here. Let's try this on the safe. Where was the safe? There. So let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh, look at that. Ice skin. Invokes the ice skin rune ward to ice burn and slow your attackers. Only sorcerer armor can sustain the rune. This is amazing. Oh, a fire nado spell. That is so cool. We're finding so many useful things. Um, because we're close to our house, I think what we might want to do is get a little chest prepared outside here and just dump things into a chest. I think that would make a lot more sense. So a lot of the episodes that you guys are going to be seeing are not as fast paced as I usually would have done them in the past because this mod is still very new and I need to figure it out. So you will find me looking at stats or looking at things a lot more frequently. And um, again, mainly as well so that you guys can see them if you haven't seen them before. So you can see what the mod is all about as well as if you have the experience and played the mod before that you can share your information you have, which would always is appreciated. Absolutely. So um, let's actually be better prepared. But look at this now. We can now equip fire NATO. So we're going to have some fun with that in a little while and see how that's going on. Oh, there's a bag. Very good i think there was actually a bag in front of the fireplace what is this spirit bond invoke the spirit bond rune word to lessen the burden of harnessing runes to improve spirit regeneration only spell cast weapons and sorcery armor can sustain oh do we not have a second slot on this or oh we only have one slot is it one slot or is it two slot it's a one slot because my tools are level three this is level two yeah 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 so that's where that's coming from okay so we can only do that on rune weapons we don't have any rune weapons unless that's considered a weapon no it's not okay so we're gonna figure it out we have toilet here we also have to be careful that there's nothing where we can drop to the ground in There we go, there's the sink. Oh yes, we found a wrench. Actually, I wasn't even looking for a wrench yet, but you know the wrench is gonna be really, really handy when it comes to taking things apart. Uh, like this, potentially, let me see. No, okay, so well, we're gonna get some iron from, from cars and all that, of course. Um, yes, let me see how we're gonna do this now. Um, just get the fire spell ready. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna head back here. Look what we're gonna do now, guys. We're gonna test out the fire nado spell. Oh, look! As you hold it. Oh no, I thought it was damaging as you hold it. Okay. Okay, this is getting tight, guys. This is getting tight. Okay, I think what we want to do is stick with the single uh, use of fire and um, get a second fire spell on our whoa on our bar to deal with fire nado. I think that would be a good idea. There we go. Oh, is it still fire nado? I thought we swapped. Okay, that was really, really close. I didn't really, didn't know, know what was happening. Okay. Let's go right through here. Oh, nice. There's a lot of materials in there. And we're back around, I think, in the kitchen living room area. Oh, no, this is not where we came from. Oh, look at that. Nice. There's a workbench as well. Oh, there's a dude actually lying there on the ground. Nice. We have another lady coming from over there. Okay, just keep firing, keep firing. As long as nobody's behind us, we're okay. 
Okay, we're gonna close this. And maybe a fire nado would be good for all of these guys. Okay, here we go. Is that gonna hit all of them? I think so. We might get lucky here, but let's... Oh, yes! Oh, my balls. Look at that. There was like three dead. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love the way you can mix all these uh, spells with uh, conventional uh, weapons, which then have modlets for more spells. This is amazing. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we can use, I think, Fire Essence to repair our spell cast, but we need to find Fire Essence, which we only get from resource grinding, as far as I can see so far. We're going to go through the rest of the house, absolutely. I just want to make sure... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. That actually gave me a heart attack. Okay, there's nobody coming from behind. Always watch out behind, especially in these dungeons. Oh, what is this? Is that a big... Oh, I thought we had, like, a... Okay, okay. Excellent. Oh, I love the AoE effect. I love that we can just class the guy in the middle and everybody's set on fire. Let's get some extra spare wood, actually. That would be pretty neat. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. And we have a melee kill. That's even better. Okay, let's take all the chairs. I'm going to turn them into wood. Let's see what we have here in this room. Nice. We actually need a little bit more drink. We're down to 75 again. There we go. I think that's food as well, though. Let me see. Where's my food at? Our food is at 76. Our stam stamina is 75. Our water is 109. So we're doing okay. We just need food. We need to find food. I think we found a can of food, um, which I left outside. So we might actually start looking into eating that. We're finding a lot of jars, which is actually great. I just need to find a cooking pot now. There we go. We have a cooking pot, actually. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to be able to cook water now, and we're going to be able to probably boil the meat that we find. So we're going to have to go and get some meat. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. There's a little bit of food for us. Excellent stuff. And it's going to get our stamina back up as well. That is beautiful. So let's have a look here. Let's see if there's any more secret spots behind anything. We can't loot any of those. Okay. Let's go. There's a cupboard. Oh, nice. What was that? It's a level three lightning strike two. Invoke the lightning strike rune word to call down balls of lightning on your foes while casting on only spell cast weapons can sustain the power of this rune. So this here, basically, but we, we have to get the higher levels to get the modifiers. Occasionally strikes your foe with lightning when landing a direct spell. So you could put this on a fire spell so you can get fire and lightning. Is that how I understand it? That would be absolutely amazing. And they sell for quite a lot as well if you need to um, make some cash. Okay, let's see what we have in here. I, I love that we find these specific runes and everything. So I'm still not sure exactly what the differences are between all the runes. I think runes are modlets, is it? I have no idea. I think that's how it works. So let's actually use the wrench on this car and see what we get from cars, if anything of that changed in this mod. No, we seem to be getting the normal things like gas and metal and machine parts, nothing out of the ordinary springs. Yeah, nothing special out of the car here. We just got our normal parts. We actually have a cowboy hat. Okay, nobody here. Okay, suitcase. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. A machete. Is that a machete? Ooh, lightning spell. So we do find spells inside... Um, lootables oh look at that we have to get upstairs okay so let's see what we can do with this um these guys here as far as i know they only give you have a chance of giving you mechanical parts unless that's changed in this mod yeah there you go mechanical parts uh, and electronic parts and not much more these guys here let's repair that quickly um where's our shovel they give you cement of course which is very important so we're actually going to take that with us so we can use that to reinforce um, our house. Um, I do want to build my own base, but I don't want this whole thing to be about base building necessarily because I want to explore the mod. Um, so I'm not really sure how we're going to do Horde Knight or if we even do Horde Knight. I'm not really sure. We might just collect all the resources and skip the Horde Knights. I, I have no idea. Um, let me know in the comments, actually, if you're interested in seeing... Oh, interested in seeing Horde Knights. A Sorcerer Bandana. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. Okay, let's take this. Oh, we have an iron club, very nice. And let's see if we can. Yes, we can put this mod in, which invokes a spirit bond rune word to lessen the burden of harness. See, I know what it's talking about here, but I don't know where I can see that on my character statistic page. I don't see any of that, what it's talking about. Stamina, healing. So stamina is minus five, yeah? So does that say if I put this in, complete and I wear this now 
is this now stamina is still minus five so there's no banner like, like it doesn't show what it's actually doing with the whole stamina reagan and the spirit and all that nonsense so but we're gonna keep this on of course essence harvesting so we might actually get bonuses in harvesting if i understand this right so let's scrap that this is really really cool um let me see what we find in the garbage tablets very good oh nice what was that oh chrysanthemum seeds so this is fire nova which invokes the Fire Nova rune word to knock your attackers on their ass while burning them to a crisp. Only Sorcerer Armor can sustain the power of this rune. So, Fire Nova seldomly goes Supernova when attacked. This seems to me like something you can put, like I said, on a spell cast or something as a modifier, and that way you can cast one spell, but you can also get from another class, not class, but from another specialization like say if you spell cast uh, fire you can all of a sudden get a lightning strike that would be really awesome if that's the case so you can have like multi um effects on a target so cabinet searching let's see here there we go what do we have in here we're going through the loot as well because i know we all enjoy good looting and see what we can find especially in the new model to see what's all out there and this is a working workbench this is amazing wow okay is there anything for sorcery in here I don't see anything sorcery special in any of this yet. I think basically there's special workbenches and all that. Oh, but the machete, look at that. Man, oh, that's amazing. Yes. Oh, it even goes into here. Okay, let me just check here. There's nothing to pick up here, but we potentially have something in here. Oh, I damaged the suitcase. Okay. There we go. Nice. And she's down. She's down. Do you have no arrow? Is there anybody else in here? I don't think so. They could be in the other room, though. Let's have a little look. Nice. Yes, got him. Nice. Oh, I thought he was dead. Oh, he died. <laughs> he died of internal combustion. Nice. Okay, she's still alive. There we go. Beautiful. Got a right with the Machiti. I can hear somebody else in here. So let's actually load up this spell. I love investigating these houses now with the spells. This is absolutely amazing. Okay. I don't know why there's lightning around one of them. That is a bit intense. Okay. Why is there lightning around that person? Does that mean she was a special lightning mob? There's nobody behind us, which is good. Really want to make sure we clear everything else out. There we go. Nice. Let's get all the spells back. Is there anybody else in here? No, they're all hanging out. They're all chilling. Very good. Nice. Excellent. This is it. We're at the heart of the loot. Brilliant. Look at that. Reinforced crate. What do we get? Steel gloves. We got another triple storage schematic. That is amazing. Well, I've been playing around with this modlet here. So let me show you something. Um, let's repair this. We have full stamina. Yeah. Let's take this modlet out. So when this model is talking about that you will endure immense burden, I didn't know what it was actually talking about because it's obviously like all describing something in a different language and uh, well, different phrasing. So I'm just opening these boxes. We're going to have a look at them in a second and um, I can't take anything with me anyway. We're just going to go down and um, we open them up, have a look inside so we see what goodies we get from these boxes and then I'm going to bring them down. But look at the durability of my tool when I hit things. It takes away very nice, very slow will last quite a while but as soon as I put in the modifier this guy and complete look at this you see the durability going down that is intense and that is only because of the rune which is obviously for locks very good yeah so we don't really need the more oh, look at that nice oh we've taken all that we actually had the room and over here what do we have here? Oh, we have a sledgehammer. We're gonna scrap that for sure. I don't use sledgehammers. Um, anvil, very good for when we get a forge. Iron door, nails, and wood. That is beautiful. And this one here I already had opened. Um, mechanical parts, iron axe, very good. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Let's quickly get through this. And I think we can walk around on the rim, if I see this right. There we go. Look at that. That is amazing. So you actually are at the rim here. We have a bird's nest. Okay, I can't pick anything up. No feathers. <laughs> let's go around and let's have a look here because there is another thing over there and there is a potentially something hidden here. Let's see. Oh, trash. It's only trash. And what do we get in it? Nails. Okay, all the shenanigans there. Very good. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, nice. A pistol and money. Oh, I like it. There we go. We might put the modlet actually on the hammer. I think we can repair the hammer. Do we can we repair the hammer? What do we repair it with? Forged iron. There is forged iron in one of the boxes, so we can actually repair the hammer. But the good thing about that is we can put the modlet we have on the stone axe in the hammer. Here we go. Let's see what's in there. I can't really see. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What is in there? This is intense. Okay, so we definitely want to check out what's, be ah, what's behind here. Nice. Oh, this is like a little hidey hole. That is so cool. Is there anything behind it? No. What do we have here? Okay. Oh, we have food. Nice. Excellent. Oh, that is beautiful. And what do we have in here? Okay, a doorknob. Garbage. Okay, that's just your average garbage. And then what do we have in here? Shipping crate. Okay, we're nearly out of durability on our hammer. So we won't be getting further. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch over to our dude over here. And, oh, we have a wiring tool as well. And uh, we actually don't need the paint right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this mod out of here. There we go. So we can actually use our axe without losing the durability. There we go, look at that leg armor and everything. That is amazing. Okay, build a little uh, staircase up there so we can get up here uh, every time, every now and then. Again, I don't know if these things uh, respawn or anything, but just in case, okay, we have more loot here that, that we haven't looked at. Oh, nice, there's a super gun, that's sweet. I know we can pick up all of these guys as well, but I'm gonna do that um, off camera because that's just, you know, <laughs> gathering resources. We also have to get my essences. We have to chop a couple of trees down as well. And I think that's it up here. That's everything there was. Oh no, there's another backpack. Let's see what we get. Okay. we got some boots. we got some clothes. Okay. We can scrap that. We're going to take these, um, one boots. Okay. Let me see here. Where? Oh no, 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 no. We're going to keep the ones we have. <laughs> we can scrap that. <laughs> There was a lot of picture frames actually which had hidden stuff behind it, so we're gonna go through them now. Um, oh, there's another one here. No, nothing here. And there was a backpack behind this one. Empty. There's a nightstand. Okay, we got some clothes. Actually, do we need these? Let me see, ski goggles. Um, if I wear them, I don't wear anything else in the moment. Sweater, what do we have instead? Yeah, sure, we're gonna scrub that. Very good, I like it. And nothing in this box. Ooh, spooky. Everything is empty now. And there is another shipping crate here. So let's have a look and see what's in that. Hopefully something interesting. We're a little bit overburdened right now because we're pretty full. So let's see what we get. Oh, nice. Okay, so how do we... Yes, let's scrap that. And scrap that and we take that pickaxe with us. Very, very good. I like it. That's nothing to loot. And yeah, that's just where we were. Excellent stuff. So, ooh, there's one more backpack. Oh, look at that. Nice. We already have full sorcery ammo and a compound bow. How awesome is that? Let's go home and let's see if we can bring in all the loot. And also we have to get a couple of more uh, resources. We have to get some more essences so we can make the arcane, arcane wheel. So the plan is to actually spread out the workload for the Omni Essences because we have only the Fire Conjurer. So I'm making the Ice Conjurer and the Lightning Conjurer at the same time. I know I don't want to go at the same time deep into any of the trees, but this is just basic crafting and it gives us the chance to actually have the forges for each of the Conjurers for each of those and allow us to make more Omni Extract in a faster way because we're now also getting tier two essences and just going after one type is kind of limiting you. Uh, when it comes to making these shared resources because you have to go to specific trees not all of them grow everywhere in these areas so if we for example look through here most of these trees are actually trees that give me lightning essences and not fire 
so uh, finding fire you have to go to the boulders but then it's shared again so i think we're ma making much oh crap this gives me a fright every time we're gonna get um much more resources faster from the shared resources when we have all conjurers so i have the ice one now we're gonna place it down let's see can we put two beside each other no so we're gonna put this i think we're gonna put this one here so we have the two of them beside the stairs and um, the last one maybe we put this room i don't know where we're gonna put the last one but anyway so um gather ice spell cast gather spell cast so we have a spell cast here i think so let me just go through that i don't know i organized everything and now i can't find anything that's the problem so okay let's actually take these spell casts here and we have them under yeah there we go so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to put these guys all into the same box there we go and now we have collected it now we're not going to defeat any of the fallen yet which is good but we're also going to do the same with the lightning one but the good thing is that we can now go and put the ice in here so where's our ice essence here we go beautiful wood in there and that should hopefully allow us to get omni extract from this as well so if we look at the omni extract there we go we can already start crafting it which is really good and between the three of them combined we hopefully get uh, the 40 to have the arcane wheel i think it is called it's a wheel anyway let me see the arcane wheel yeah for some reason when you type in arcane it doesn't find it to have the wheel done because all we need is for the extract i have everything else i just need uh, the extracts all right the wheel is nearly ready we had um 10 seconds left and we also might as well just open our um safe over here this is where i have the special modeled on on this hammer so we're only going to use it when we actually come across one of those safes there we go very nice i like it let's see what's in it oh beautiful so we have another compound bow we have some ammunition very good i like it so let's take the ammunition let's take the model let's take the bow and we're going to put the bow in here very good we can repair it and sell it if it gives us a lot of money and here we have ammunition very nice i like it there we go and let's take the arrows and then we have a modlet, an iron breaker, 15% more damage against iron. Oh, that's very good. We're going to put that on the pickaxe, actually. There we go. Beautiful. So now that the arcane wheel is done, I also made more Omni Extract. Basically, every single essence I just literally burnt in the forges or in the conjurers and turned them into Omni Essence because once we have the arcane wheel, we're going to have to make thread. And the thread is what we need to make whatever so we're gonna need omni extract and we're gonna have to make the thread from the omni extract so let's take the wheel where's the wheel there we go there's the wheel oh look at it go this is amazing i love the particle effects okay so if we want now sorcery armor we can have oh look at that that's fire based is it oh i can't thre i can thread level five level three and that's level one okay i get it now because when i was looking at the arcane thread here i can see fire thread and ice thread so there seems to be no special armor though let me see so you can make the different type of threads from the extracts but i'm not sure what they're for yet okay so in the moment it's just arcane thread and what do we need for the different type of clothes so if we want to make our own bandana we already have so if we want to make boots we need 20 wow 20 40 60 and then the hat is 80 then 100 that is insane and look at this you can make like um a rope as well oh that looks badass and glasses as well that is so insane and a shirt so to make all of these we need probably about 200 arcane so yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. This was actually intense. This was really, really nice. I really enjoyed this. So we had like loads of loot. We're going to fight the other two guys. I know I said I'm not gonna go down into the tree of the skills, of the other skills, but we are going to do the main quest because that's not really spending any points like so but we're not going to spend any points to go deeper into lightning and ice in the moment i just wanted to get the initial quest done so we actually can um, start using the conjurers uh, especially for omni extracts it's a lot faster anyway i'm gonna leave it here let me know in the comments below what you think and what we should focus on next any ideas you have that we should be looking into let me know in the comments below anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and i see you guys next time until then as always fish pass and happy gaming.